TikTok conspiracy theories. Let's get it. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your uh -oh. life. Okay. Part 11. Today we are talking about time loops. This time is mental loops. and very, very confusing. Oh, so you've seen films such as Groundhog Day, Palm Springs, or Dark or anything. Right, right. Kind of get the gist of this. But yeah. people are kind of stuck in a time loop reliving the same day again and again and again. Yeah. Like things like Groundhog Day, Happy Death Day, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. What if this actually exists in real life? The theory is we maybe there know. are some kind of wormholy weird places on Earth that connect interdimensionally with parallel universes. Okay. Oh, it was confusing, didn't I? Now, if you don't know parallel universes, the universe is the same as ours, but things play out differently. But maybe there are actual things like this out there. So, kind of think of it as okay. if, like, a black hole, but on Earth. And maybe when you enter this, it kind of freezes time, so you're just stuck on your own. Almost like in your own bubble, just going through the same day again and again and again. Okay. I mean, it's mental and a crazy theory, but I mean, if you it think about certain explanations for it, it kind of could be possible. But, it's still mental. The childhood but conspiracy- He didn't give us no examples? Yeah, he didn't give us no time, Lou? Like, 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 I would, I would- some ex like evidence I would have given is deja vu. That's yeah. that's perfect yeah. evidence. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. even then, deja vu doesn't. It not, that's different. He give not one example. Yeah, he was like, time. it's crazy. We know it because of the movies. But yeah, you, know, you don't. You didn't. You didn't give any real that's point. Not really a theory. <laughs> yeah, that's not a theory. That's uh, what if dogs are actually talking <laughs> English? We just don't understand it. Like conspiracy theory iceberg. This picture represents conspiracy theories that will change your childhood forever. Okay. As always, make sure to join the Discord for the full list. Okay. This is tier no. one. Mrs. Puff is a psycho. Okay. We've all seen SpongeBob and we've all seen Mrs. Puff before. Mm -hmm. On the episode titled "No Free Rides" in season two, okay. Mrs. Puff says this. What have I done? Everyone will know that I let him slide through school. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with again. a new name. Not again. No, I she remember already this. has. Not yeah. Again. This Alex is Bell. Mrs. Puff has changed. Alex Bell did it better. You're right. You're right. Changed her identity before, and I promise this gets worse. In season 12, episode 21, SpongeBob is helping her organize some of her junk, and okay. he comes across a newspaper that says, "Deranged boat teacher makes getaway." So the yeah. real question remains: Who is Mrs. Puff? Make sure to like and follow for tomorrow's not, video. I'm going he low-key got that right from Alex. Yeah, low yeah, key. like straight. So you possibly the biggest lie in history, at least if a lie could be measured by money. And that okay. is because it is a lie two specific companies would love you to believe. Okay. Unfortunately, many say there may be nothing we can do to fix this lie. And the lie is that there is a world's richest person. Currently, this richest person is Elon mm. Musk. And I'll show you why some of the <laughs> darkest organizations want you to believe this. Not even close. According to Forbes, people like Elon and Jeff Bezos are the world's richest people. They, cause they're, they're actually assets are you can see their assets um live you can actually see their assets they got some, it's shared they got some oil motherfuckers out that, there that are man that's man, shitting shitting bro like there's uh i think what is it above billionaire trillion uh, yeah i think there's a like nah, trillionaires there's in, some foreigners uh, in dubai the US. in dubai like got money money in bro. india and play, like got like, money psh. But they can only list people whose assets are visible yeah. or public knowledge. Yeah, public Try knowledge. as you might, there are people in organizations with assets so secret it is impossible to calculate their wealth. I thought that car was here. It's in her fucking video. Like, oh, there are people in organizations with assets oh, so like secret it effect. is impossible to calculate their wealth. <laughs> and since wealth is unfortunately power, this is a problem. For example, there is no way to know the worth of Vladimir Putin or the Saudi family. People can give estimates like is... saying they're worth $1.4 trillion, but this is nothing more than a guess. Knowing that assets can be hidden leads us to these two organizations. BlackRock. BlackRock yep. and Vanguard. Yep. And there is good reason many people say these companies run the world. And the strange part is that both of these companies are the biggest investor of the other. For many, this is a massive warning sign, Facts. especially since they own a huge stake in, in all everything. the major news networks. This includes Fox and CNN. And on a side note, they would seem to profit from the rhetoric that keeps us divided, along with having major sway in what the networks Bro, can it's say. Really Big Pharma, Van that Vanguard. Work, work their way up. Like being like, what's the word? Not caring about nothing. Like being yeah. so... Not evil, but like it's a word for it. They really work their way up through these companies to be able to lead places like BlackRock and Vanguard and JP Morgan and bro. bro. And it's it's ruthless. It's ruthless. It's so much money. Like, like there's a dude on TikTok, right? All he does, he does um uh it's called investment well watching, right? Right. And it's seeing what companies other companies are investing in. So if a company sells off of a stock, all he does is watch BlackRock and the other one. That's it. 
So if they start <laughs> selling <laughs> off, he immediately puts a stop or like a, a loss. Mm. He had bro has made like in the last year, I think he made like four hundred and some thousand dollars. Just watching, the, and that's the uh, that's company. what he does full time. Yeah. They are like they are ahead of a lot of stuff, bro. Facts. Mm. Owns huge shares in Pfizer, oil and gas. They hold Shell, even yeah. Microsoft. Yeah. And the scariest part is that they hold majority voting power in many of their investments. Facts. So who is the owner of them? They are so heavily invested in each other, it's strange to call them two companies. A quick Google search and a legal probe will show you that nobody actually knows yeah. who owns them. Who know or or like the board members. No one knows the board members like the, I think there's like a few that are but nobody knows the board and these are like money money like Trump Trump not even in the same tax bracket as these guys like nowhere near and because the organization is private, nobody knows who is a member of the company, though Vanguard has said that BlackRock has a unique company structure, which doesn't sound sketchy at all. There is one very public figure, however, and this is Larry Fink. He loves working at deep levels in the government and has no political affiliation because he will go wherever the money flows. Yeah. He tried being the secretary for Hillary Clinton Dang. and was brought on as an advisor for Trump. He plays yeah, he both moved. sides. Yeah. He saw this as he tried for the position of secretary for the Biden administration. So with all this mystery around the BlackRock Vanguard group, who is the richest person? If we go back in history, we can see that the Rothschild family is Ooh. one of BlackRock Ooh. and Vanguard's. Hey, bro, we don't want no smoke. Shut up. We don't want no, no smoke. No, 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 no. I'm not saying. I'm saying like, do you know how much money you have to have bro. for it to go super generational? Bro, Rothschilds. The Walmart family, we don't want no smoke. We just, like, we just, we just reactors. No, I'm just saying. But you can buy me out for a billion. <laughs> I'm just saying how unfathomable the amount of money, bro. Is. They, bro, it's like, rich. You can think, oh, he's a billionaire. Oh, his bro, rich. No, bro. oh, he's a trillion. No, no they are. No. They are, and it's scary, it's bro. Constant, bro. Money. The craziest part, like. Us like working up, like we want to be millionaires. What rapper? Right? I said a, billion, big 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 take up, Bree. What rap? What rapper banged a uh, Rothschild? What? <laughs> no <laughs> shot. I bet you he ain't live. <laughs> I bet you he ain't. Or live. maybe he's well off. Nah, bro. Rothschild. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The Rothschilds and the um the Walmart family. Jay Electronica. No shot. That's why they disappeared. Terrify, <laughs> they terrify me, bro. I don't want, I don't want no issue with these boys, bro. And the craziest part, if you look, they really do own everything. Yeah. Now look, if they want to just send your boy a bill, y'all want to buy out you? I don't know that twin. <laughs> I don't know that twin. <laughs> biggest holders. And conspiracy theorists have had a heyday with the stories of this family over decades. Of course. Other shareholders course. include the Bush family and yeah. the royal family of England. So though we may know the family... Nigga, you just got us GG. Huh? <laughs> you just got us GG, fuck, nigga. It's just Shut a, up. It's just a... Th it's th all... We don't know shit. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's why the nigga just got us GG. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> got us GG, nigga. I don't even believe the Illuminati exists. Bro, I was just throwing it out there. Got, <laughs> got a GG It's tied to these organizations. We may never know who runs them. And these shady individuals clearly have a reason they want to keep it that way. Welcome to the Gleek.com channel as we reveal more about the oh, world okay, of money Okay, W plug. I see you. All right, chat. All right, chat. I'm about, I'm about to tell y'all something. Tell them. About tell to learn y'all something new. Learn us. Learn us. So, learn us. Shorty said that's the biggest... Um, Right, history thing in history, biggest mm -hmm. co conspiracy in history. I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to blow your mind. Why don't you just blow us? Can we can we play what you about to show? Yeah. Which one is it? All right. Okay, I'll play this one. <laughs> All right. So this is actual footage of the atomic bomb, chat. Well, we can't play that. Yes, we can. This is they, they're not a test. This is the test. This is the test. This is the test. This okay. is the test. This is test footage, educational purposes. You know what I'm saying? So look, Here this we is Here this we go. is I'm about the this is about to be the craziest shit you ever saw, chat. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna mute it. We're gonna mute it. Gonna mute that up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, All right, so boom, watch the house. Watch oh, everything. this Nuketown. Yeah, yeah, the real yeah, one. The, the actual, real Nuketown. The real Nuketown. So watch it, chat. Damn, they footage was going. Yeah. All right, so boom. It's going to show the nuke. All right, boom. So wait. They hit Nuketown for real, for real. All right, so right. watch. Well, you watching? Just watch that. Okay, that's one house gone. All right, all right, all right, all right. Boom. Okay, power plant. Okay, wait for it. Boom. Okay, that's gone. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Hmm. What else could we? Oh, the house. Gone. Damn. Hmm. Destroyed that one. Okay. Wait, another one. You see the house? Catch on fire? Wait for it. Boom. It's right. gone. How the camera doing? surviving? You know what I thought before you started playing the... I was like, how did they get cameras in there? How the camera surviving? I literally thought that. How the camera surviving? How the camera surviving? Multiple. How how are the cameras surviving? The cameras there is this the camera a hundred miles away. There was no camera that good back in the day. Nigga, we could barely do that. The, now. There was no camera that far away. There was no there is no to this day, there's no camera. Because the cameraman always survived. A hundred miles away. That's impossible. It had to have been some kind and of it's satellite. It's not satellite. It's not satellite. This is a ground yeah, angle. A ground shot this real. is a ground angle. These are ground angles. These are ground angles. Supposed to put a telescope in front of it. <laughs> this was what nineteen fifty camera a hundred miles away, and that's not a hundred miles away. Come on, look at look, look at, at this. The, look at look at the house. No, 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 no. Look at the quality of the footage before the test, up close and personal. Watch the quality. A hundred, a hundred miles. Look at the quality of the footage of them. But this this is, this is ten feet away. But this is and that's and it's saying. clear a hundred miles away. Come on, Chad. Come on. Hey, I like that out of you, my boy. I like that research out of you, my boy. I'm you, if we're gonna, hey. if we're gonna, hey, if we're gonna if we talk, gonna conspire. If we're gonna talk about it, we gonna conspire. That like that is the craziest <laughs> thing in here. Like the moon landing, everybody be like, oh, the moon landing's fake. I, I think it is. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't know how we got a camera up there, but or how that nigga called them on the moon, whatever. But how I use cameras every day. <laughs> I use cameras every day. He looks up the most high tech. Bro, bro, I cameras overheating the sun. You mean to tell me a film camera survived that blast radius? Oh yeah, yeah. It was right. They was running on film too. The film survived? Come on, chat. Mm. Come on, Chad. Government technology. Fuck no. <laughs> because look, I'm gonna I'm I'm give you one. The government has everything years before we get it from cell phones, everything, right? Right. Nine, we would already have a camera that could survive almost anything right now. That is true. If that was 1950, our camera should be way better. And there's a way. Way better. A film from a bunker, they said? Freak no. A above ground bunker, above an above ground bunker. He said, "Streamed it on Twitch and screen recorded." <laughs> For <laughs> sure, <laughs> did. For <laughs> sure, <laughs> did. Yeah, come on, Shaq. Right. All right, let's get into some Antarctica stuff. Oh, unmute, unmute, unmute. Oh, you got to click it, bro. Was it? it? How did you mute? And crypto. There it is. Here's a true story from Antarctica oh, that has me asking a lot of questions. Uh -oh. Bro. A naval flight engineer tells the story of his experience in McMurdo Station, Antarctica, right, right. around 1995. They fly this huge plane. They, the reason why our camera should be better, right? Our camera, you're, you're right, but you got to think about it. What did he say? Phone, I'm talking about Brie. Phone oh, they technology. Give us, they give us the scraps. Is phone technology said. has done what every year? It has improved. improved. Camera qualities have improved. There's no reason why we couldn't have a camera that's still subpar that can handle something like that. Let's be honest. Come on, bro. Come on. Playing around the continent and do assignments like drop people off, pick people up, stuff like that. Whenever they would fly toward the pole, they would always get to the same spot called Beardmore Glacier. In this area and throughout the continent, it's so common to see flying circular craft flying up and down and in pairs all around them. During mm -hmm. lunchtime, they would all have discussions about this. And one thing they all noticed was that these craft would never fly through the no-fly zone the near no Beardmore Glacier. Okay. They mm -hmm. thought there was some sort of barrier or territorial what? agreement that they couldn't go there. One day there was a medical about. accident on the other side of the continent and this crew realized that it would take them six hours to get to this man. 
The captain knew that flying through this no-fly zone would actually be faster than going around. Right. So he asked why they couldn't fly through the zone. And the answer they got was that it was an air monitoring station. What? They concluded that, don't, that they're high we're enough we're and that they wouldn't contaminate the air. So they decided to fly through this no-fly oh, zone. Oh, monitoring the air quality. Oh, okay, okay. Talk. So they're flying and they're all looking down. They look and they notice that there's this huge hole in the ice that was probably the size of a football field. Boy, somebody using the earth as a flesh. <laughs> Come on, Mother Earth! <laughs> Come on, Mother Earth! <laughs> it led deep under the ice. Of course, they were all mystified, and they all had so much questions on what this hole was. I like they booty hole. this guy, and they head straight back to McMurdo Station. As soon as they land, they're met with a guy in an all-black suit. Remember, this is Antarctica, oh, so damn. this must have been really important. Yeah? The crew was told by this man, you what you quick. saw at pole, you did not see. You do not talk about this they snitched. because That's you what never I'm talking saw about. it. How did they like, bro? They shouldn't have made it. What you mean? Like, if they really saw that and they snitched, yeah, they. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Who knows what the man in black? Yeah. After much rumors, they realized what this thing could really have been. It is said that extraterrestrials the extra and the government are working together within mm. this hole as some sort of collaboration. Yo, we all know. <laughs> I don't, I don't put nothing like Big Gov. I don't put nothing past Big Gov. You feel me? But I, but, I don't put nothing but, at this point. But, I don't put nothing. But that got crazy. That, 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 that got crazy. Crazy. Like, granted, granted, right? I am a bit of a skeptic, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's somebody out there freaking out over there. They've been studying this conspiracy theory for years. Like, <laughs> Internet City. <laughs> How could you say? How could you say it's not yeah, like, Come here, I'll prove it to you. Uh, How? I don't want to take us to that article. I don't, but please don't. Somebody asked Mr. Beast what he saw when he went. He went to Antarctica? Yeah, they went to Antarctica. Bro, they did a whole video I'm in Antarctica. I'm be so honest with you. I'm be so honest with you. I'm be so honest with you. If that nigga Jimmy saw some shit, Jimmy ain't going to tell no. Jimmy's a billionaire. You think Jimmy ain't with the dogs already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, Jimmy. I know you I know you good, he, he, twin. He chilling. He chilling. Chillin'. You good, twin? What's good, uh, Ryu you Dragon? You good, twin. You good, you good, you good, you good. We've heard all the conspiracy theories. We stand, Jimmy. <laughs> He's talking about this Agartha theory and all this stuff. But after what this government guy said, I'm really starting to think about it. And like, there's no, we need some more. Who is the government guy? If you're going to yeah. whistle blow, yeah. blow that blow. bitch. Blow. blow it. Blow. <laughs> like, if you're going to tell the truth, better blow it like a, you know what I'm saying? What is it, a trombone? <laughs> blow it. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be honest. That he ain't he ain't blow it right. If he gonna blow it, he gonna have to blast it. Blow it. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna blow it? I I'm not a whistleblower. You feel me? So it it'll. Okay. But if he gonna blow something like that whistle, he need to blow it like a horn chat type shit. Like y'all can make it as sexual as you want. We just saying. If you gonna snitch, and he's sober, chat. Stand, no, I ain't even saying that weird. If you snitch, if you gonna snitch, bro, stand on business. Weird, but the whole chat saying clip, bro, it don't even matter. So y'all, so look, 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 blow it. So look, look, look. <laughs> if y'all snitching, right, right. My name is Bartholomew Q. What's the last name? John Johnson. Johnson. I, I was a member of the Air Force Second Brigade. Right. And I saw this shit. That's how you know what I'm saying. Put your put your test on it. But apparently he did. That's how we got the story in the first Bro, place. We got this military guy. This mil ah true. You know what I'm saying? Lois have reported this stuff so many times. Let me know what you guys. Think. And I don't trust nobody in the cover telling me stories, nigga. Mm, Which you scared? He's trying of. to be creepy. He's trying to be because creepy. there are so many possibilities on what this thing could be. I don't know this story at all, especially since so many soldiers report this. Have you ever heard of the lottery conspiracy? The lottery. You know when you go inside of right? a gas station and you find. Man, I want to lose. I want to win the lottery. Imagine these fools be winning and blowing it. Yeah. Hey, I, boy, I, boy, boy, bro. I, 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 I hire a hundred prostitutes to keep my money safe, cuz. I'm just saying, bro. They know what they doing. Uh, how? Huh? How they gonna keep it safe? In their organs. Okay. Because nobody's gonna miss them. <clears throat> huh? What? Huh? Yeah. Nah, I just want to win the lottery, like for real, for real, for, huh? For real. Come on, cuz. What? I get a cool million in each. 
and dolls, lottery tickets dolls, and people buy them dolls. and they scratch them off in hopes of winning <clears throat> millions of dollars. Right. What if I told you about the conspiracy theory that says the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers? I'm what? <laughs> No way! I didn't know where that. I was ain't gonna going. hold you. That, that would be genius. It's brilliant. It's br Cause they could go back in time. They would win the lottery. That's like the first thing somebody. That's kind of sort if it was you know. I know it sounds crazy, but just bear with me. It's <laughs> going to make a lot of sense. Okay, so people believe the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers. The chance of winning the lottery right now is about one in fourteen million. So right. statistics. Are you doing the math? I mean, you could, you can win, bro. You can win, dog. Big baby Davis. I'm trying to see, like, how many times I have to get chat GBT to run. <laughs> hey, appreciate the sub. One with music. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Now let's That's take a look crazy. at one of the most popular lotteries called the Mega Millions. Yeah, you sure. have a one in 300 million chance of winning this lottery. Ooh. Or in other words, you would need to be struck by lightning 21 times back to back to back in order to win this lottery. <laughs> so the odds of winning are nearly... I, as soon as he said that, I thought about that meme where they said, uh, when God finally catches Kevin Gates kids. <laughs> Because <laughs> he'd be, oh my kids, oh my kids, yeah. strike my kid. That, that's crazy. That boy. Impossible. So that's why people believe the government created this in order to catch time travelers, is because the time travelers would know exactly where to go and exactly which one. Mm. God, that was a mouthful to say, but make sure to like and follow if you guys we want don't to see care. 38 written on there. I mean, what? The Post. Showing Almost. But make sure to like and follow Damn, if you guys want still... to see more videos. This video recently surfaced. What is that? Showing a mosquito, mosquito? which appears to have the number 38 written on there. It's fucking Spider Man, Mosquito right. Man. Yeah. And I mean, what the hell is this all about? Of course, this has started conspiracy theories all over the internet. Something's One theory basically secret. being that they're drones, you know, people that believe birds are drones. A lot of people actually believe pigeons, like every single pigeon is a drone. And get this, some people actually believe that the lockdown was staged by the government so they could replace all the bird slash drones batteries. I do it again. They did. Please come back. Batteries did. We was all at home watching videos. You know, what sure. watching the internet. Everything was going crazy. It was going stupid. You know what I'm saying? All right. People are saying potentially this is like, I don't know, some government test or something. They're releasing some it's disease. Video edited. Theory more believable. Maybe they're doing tests on a group of mosquitoes and you know just put numbers on the back to categorize them or whatever. What makes it a bit creepier is that he How? didn't just find this one with a number on it. There was several the next day he found them. Blah blah blah. But I mean. <laughs> Who knows? Obviously, it opens up the internet to a lot of theories. So let me know in the comments what you think. Hit that follow button, and I keep. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that, that sounds. Sound like theories. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 gonna go to some older theories. Go to the next one. We're gonna, we're you gonna just go. skip. I know. I skipped it on purpose. Oh. We're going Could to Donald Trump theories. be America's last president? There's nope. this book called The Last President nope. by Ingersoll Lockwood. We the main got character another. is a boy named Baron Trump who is a time traveler, which coincidentally mm -hmm. is the name of Trump's son. And then the book starts off in New York City on Fifth Avenue. Trump has a tower on Fifth Avenue. Mm. In the book, it's a very politically divided America, which okay. ends up leading to the last president. In the book, Baron Trump becomes good friends with someone named Lafe Pence. So we got Trump and Pence co-starring in The Last this President. Be, now here's uh, where it gets this. really trippy. John Trump, Donald Trump's uncle, was the- He definitely recorded this pre-Biden. Yeah, for sure. He, pre, he definitely. Engineer. Definitely. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, he could be saying, because he running again and stuff. Nah, no, this is definitely yeah. before. Who worked on Tesla's inventions. If you've never heard of Nikola Tesla, he was defamed by Thomas Edison for making free alternative energy, which wasn't profitable. One of the they apparent on inventions TikTok of Tesla talking. was anti-gravity time travel, which was... Okay. Like, I kind of be wanting... Nah, bro. Time travel. You sometimes you like no, bro. Can I time travel? No, bro? I can't because I'm gonna get uh, bro, whipped if I go back. No, time travel for me, bro. No, you time time travel is the most moronic, idiotic <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> but what if somebody's already doing it, bro? Th that would explain why the timeline keep messing up. True. Like, bro, man, he look. is put th three theories in one. He 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 going for it. He going. It was for one it. of the machines that Donald Trump's uncle was working on, but it was inconclusive. And to top it off, look up FBI. Bro, Bro nobody be reading this crap. Oh, nobody read. Somebody's going to read that. I ain't going to hold you. Somebody it it might be a good read, bro. Look, now Mike I'm becoming. Saying, bro. Mike on payroll. Y'all hear how he sound? What? They, they got that for Mike on payroll, too. Nobody going to read that crap. They got that boy Mike on payroll. <laughs> <laughs> big Gov got me on payroll. <laughs> got that boy on payroll. Don't believe what you hear. 
You read him. Okay, buddy. Okay. Well, Tesla Bobby, says he's from a different Bobby. planet. Craziest conspiracy theories, part four. Okay. And today's conspiracy okay, theory I believe is about mind like him. control. Mind control. Ooh. Hit the like button. I believe that one's possible. Today? No, mind control. MK Ultra. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, I believe yep. that one's possible. That's true. Um, MK Ultra was proven to be true. They on their Mortal Kombat, bro. Bro, this dude's so lame, bro. What? <laughs> on <that> Mortal Kombat. Fucking <laughs> loser, dude. I said it because I knew you would react like that because I got you mind control. <laughs> I got him on the tip of my finger. We're talking MK Ultra. And no, MK Ultra is not. See, the I'm not the only one. Lame. It's a fucking twelve year old out there. Mortal Kombat, yeah. Uh, you, so get you, over here. So you're admitting appealing, you have the mind of a twelve year old. Thank you. Thank you for admitting audience, that Jesus you have the mind Christ, of a twelve year old. It makes Jesus. a lot of sense. Jesus. And I'll go ahead and tell you, this one's much different than the previous conspiracies we've done because this one is true, one hundred percent. Yep. MK Ultra was a project by the CIA that actually applied I mind control pissed, techniques bro. to unwilling participants. Yep. That's right, unwilling. on U.S. and Canadian citizens. Yep. This included drugging them with psychoactive drugs such as LSD. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, the idea okay, was okay, to okay. try to figure out how to mind control hostages to get the most amount of information. So if they, And I think from MK Ultra, didn't they uh, create, like, true serums from doing it? Bro, they was... They really just took these people. And it was random people. And they weren't took, even criminals. Just took these people. They weren't even criminals. Like, take the people out of jail. They weren't even criminals. That's they weren't crazy. drug addicts. They took regular people off That's the street. That's insane. Things they did included electroshocks, hypnosis, isolation, yep. even verbal abuse, Ooh, and other forms of torture whoa. to their own citizens. This happened at over 80 locations in the United States and Canada. While all the files from the 1950s project were ordered to be destroyed, it became public in 1977. Yep. That like it's actually like MK Ultra. And the thing is, the craziest part about MK Ultra, bro, there was no like repercussions. They didn't do nothing to them. No, just like, like to the people that did it. Yeah, it was yeah. no it was no it was just, no reparation, no no no. No, cuz like even no. even like what happened with um uh, Martin Luther King when they it there was the CIA did an investigation that like um I think there was members of Congress were actually a part of the assassination. None of them went to jail because they didn't really care for real. Yeah, none of them they went to jail for real. They it was, was kind of glad it happened. Is Britney Spears being held hostage? For sure, she was. Oh, for sure, Instagram, she was. That her account Definitely. Was strange. I'll show you. Before so last year, before this year, you can see that kind of her selfies are taken by someone else. It looks like, and they're all pretty much the same angle. Her makeup is super messy. She's wearing pretty much the same clothes in all Every her posts. Day, yeah. Now, Brittany does post a lot of dancing videos on her Instagram, and I've noticed she's done this one thing repeatedly. I'll show you what I mean. These are two separate videos, and you can see that she keeps doing whatever the fuck that is. And if you go on her comments, all her fans, all these people are saying, Brittany, are you okay? This and that, that, and that. that um... Tell me why she posted this. The first question that you mainly ask me is what my favorite song is. Girl, you know no one asks about your favorite fucking song. And the first main question that you guys ask me is what's my favorite holiday? In both videos, she's swaying back and forth, which could mean she's nervous, but why would We she all know Britney In this post, she said, saying. natural light reveals the magic in your eyes. Her mascara says, call 911. Here's a f Where? The light reveals the magic she's in your eyes. She's saying that theoretically, theoretically, she's saying, like, it doesn't literally say call 911. It doesn't. You could have came with so much, like, better stuff for that. We all know Britney was, like, being basically controlled through her what they call it what is it that they um that they signed to oh, have control of all her money her assets stuff. yeah 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 they had her they had her locked up her mascara oh, says call 911 i don't uh, no i think shorty's saying it like it's actually there <laughs> um, there's no way we yeah, in yeah. hd conservatory a fun NBA conservatorship that's what it was oh my god conserv- what i don't want to ruin nba for you I don't care what the f- it's There's rigged. so many NBA theory. It's rigged. It's, yeah, that's like, been a theory. There and the NFL's rigged. That's been a theory. They say but they yeah, they've yeah. proved it. Well, let's prove it then. You know? I don't yeah. know if it, like I, I hope I hope this is all lies. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still watching the <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> no, they get they. <sighs> what? It's a whole thing with LeBron talking about he on PDs. No shot. No shot. Yes. They said my boy on the stairs. They said my boy on the stairs. Not the king. Not King James on the stairs. They said that's why that's why Brian collapsed with the heart attack. 
what? Because when, when, when Bronny had a heart attack a couple months ago, uh-huh. it was like, why is the 18 year old kid perfectly healthy having a heart attack? And they linked it. You know, some people going to conspire and link it to that. Now, a couple months later, LeBron is uh, in some in some hot water under investigation for the pee for the you know what I'm saying for what? that rich nigga stuff. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Year twenty one, still averaging twenty nine. Shit, I'm a, I dope myself up, nigga. I'm, I'm making millions. Stab me in the ass, yo. What the fuck? You can no, put you can put steroids in me, yeah, yo. Uh, I already got kids. Oh hell yeah! That's cut these walls. That's crazy. <laughs> what? That's what? Insane. He already got in the money. In the 2017 NBA playoffs, a player named Markeith Morris, who played for the Washington Wizards, hurt his ankle in Game One versus Celtics. Right. This was only 11 minutes into the game, and he didn't return. The injury looked like he'd be out for a couple weeks, and no one expected him to Are play. Are they saying in he game switched two. with his brother? But he did play in game two, and he played as if he was never injured. In fact, he had his best game statistically. Are they saying it was his brother? Point. His twin. Here's where it gets interesting. Markeith Morris has an identical twin brother yeah. named Marcus, who also plays of in course. the NBA. Of His course. brother was playing for the Pistons, who were already eliminated from the playoffs. No shot. The theory is, is that Marcus <laughs> no played shot. for his brother. Because both brothers have the exact same tattoos and don't have any super apparent differences. I'm shit. I for sure would have been in you know a. You know what's crazy? What? They was on a podcast last week or two weeks ago. Uh-huh. And uh, 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 Kevin Garnett was like, yeah, I have a switch place. Yeah. Like, tell me it's about the time. And it was like, well, that's one legally we can't tell you. But then they told about some school stuff. <laughs> I was like, that, 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 they probably did. They probably did. They probably did. That's kind of crazy. Have you guys heard the conspiracy theory that Steve Jobs is still alive? Ah, you better shut up. (laughs) You better (laughs) shut up. Get it, get it, get the meat out your mouth, Eric. You better shut up. Get the meat out your mouth. That man died a legend. That nigga died a hero. (laughs) Yo, yo, hey, yo. hey, hey, no, say no way, hey, no fucking way. This one Let's is fucking out. crazy. For those who don't know, Steve Jobs was the co-founder of Apple who helped launch it to where it is today. Sadly, he passed away back in 2011 after his right? battle with Which pancreatic cancer. Early? Or did he? Back in 2019, okay. Reddit went fucking crazy when one of its users uploaded a picture of a man in Egypt. A man who looks identical to Steve Jobs. Real identical. I mean, yeah. They... Yeah. Doppelganger. Doppelganger for sure. That said, People started bozo. lighting up the Damn. comment section, but not to disprove it, but to say that they believe it. People are convinced because not only did Steve Jobs specify that he would want to go to Egypt one day, but he was oh. also heavily into Buddhism and spirituality, hence the way this man is dressed. Mm. Steve Jobs was also known for crossing his legs while sitting and mm. holding his hand to his chin while he was in deep thought, like the man right here. And everyone said he was just crazy enough to do it. The only thing disproving this theory is that the man is wearing an analog watch, not an Apple watch. Why would you but do that? But if you were hiding, would you wear the watch of the company you founded? Facts. Facts. Mm, facts. So is he is he out there? Here? Nah, he ain't. So he's still a legend. Yeah, he's still damn. Oh, that boy, that boy gone, man. <laughs> so is so is uh Tupac. Oh, deep fakes, duh. Tupac, but that was 2019. Yeah, Tupac. That was 2019. Yeah, deep fakes. And then like thing that. Before, 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 but I'm gonna be honest, honest bro. Like Steve Jobs wasn't like a one on one looking dude. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like some yeah. niggas look yeah. like one on one. Look like they going through a midlife crisis at all times. Like. You can't come on now. Steve never looked like he was like rich, or like. Well, that was the point. Or like you know, that was the point. He didn't or want like to. happy. I mean, he did. He was really an asshole if you think about it. He probably was. No, nah, not probably. He was. Okay, he 100%. is. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Fuck Steve. Yeah. Okay. Fuck that le- legend. Okay. Legend killer. Rocky. <laughs> you needed that. No, I don't care. You needed, you needed I don't that. Care. <laughs> Uh, no, I was about to say rip balls off. I was like, damn. <laughs> well, yeah, Mike just ran with it. What do you think? Why is nobody talking about this? Talking about what? What the? What? 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 Nigga, was that Bill Cosby? It probably was. Because it was summing up 2020. I can't even read that. That was Bill Cosby. It was. Yep, yep, yep. Yellow pudding, yellow yep. pudding pops. <laughs> drink this drink, I'll lick your pudding pop. Oh, 
Uploaded in 2015. <laughs> oh! You got me there, man. It says justice for Mike Brown. Find the profile. Somebody find the profile. Somebody find the profile. It's right there. No shot. No, there's no way. No shot. There's no way. We got to look it up. I'm sorry. I'm no sorry. Shot. I'm sorry. No shot. No shot. I'm sorry. No shot. No shot. I'm looking it up. Go back. Uh, 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 no uh, shot. Uh, go back. Go back. Zen lock with two C's. Zen lock with two C's. No shot. We looking at it right now. No shot. I found it. Right now. What's the picture? Well, we don't. We can't see the picture right here. There's no way. There's no. Oh shit. He got some stuff on here, y'all. He looked like he uploaded this type of stuff, y'all. Whoa. Okay. 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 We gotta scroll. We gotta scroll all the way back. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. Oh, shit. 400. <gasps> Y'all, we blocking it, chat. It was uploaded in 2015. It's down here. How? Yo. Wow. Yo. How? 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 <laughs> What the hell is going? It's how? At, yo, how? On that note, chat. How? I think this conspiracy video is done. 